Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Demetrius here again. This is a quick little update today just to give you a progress update on my lion diet and how it's going. It's now officially 170 days, so 170. And I've had a particularly good run with this and I'm very happy with the results, I'm ecstatic. But let me give you a breakdown of what's happened sort of in the last sort of 20 days. There has been a bit of a setback, so I mean, nothing's ever perfect. Not that I've veered away from the lion diet, no, that hasn't happened. But in terms of weight loss, it's come to a plateau. So it's actually hit a plateau and it's sort of staying at a particular level. Now, there's a number of reasons for this. The first thing is I started going to the workout in the gym. So I started working out and I started doing free weights. So my assumption would be is that I'm gaining the muscle rather than just losing fat. And obviously muscle will weigh more than fat. So I'm assuming that that's probably what the case is because actually my clothes are fitting better. My trousers are fitting better. So it's not necessarily the weight loss that concerns me. It's the fact that I've just plateaued. So I was a bit concerned about this. I spoke to a number of people online and they've actually assured me that yes, it's pretty normal. Um, it, you know, once you hit a particular level, then uh, you'll plateau. But if you're doing workouts in a gymnasium and you're doing specifically free weights, you're going to gain muscle. So that's pretty cool. So from my perspective, yes, it's a, it's a stopgap or a a setback in a way from the actual weight on a scale but on the other hand though I've gained muscle which is pretty cool so it doesn't really bother me so for those of you out there who are concerned you know you you're worried you think you're not losing enough weight or you know you you're not getting close to your target bear in mind if you are working out and you are doing things like free weights and set and, and things like that you're gonna get you're gonna gain muscle so ultimately don't judge your results around a scale because I think that's what my biggest mistake was in the last sort of month or so is that I got so zoned in to losing weight to try and get under 100 kilograms that I, I, I sort of lost sight in a way in terms of results because I thought oh, okay I've got this far why am I not able to sort of lose my last 15 kilograms because my, my ultimate weight will be 85 kilos but it's not really necessarily achievable very quickly i mean you don't want to go right down so quickly and at the same at the same day you don't want to actually achieve that and then not have any other results so i thought okay well i started working out i started going doing free weights in the gymnasium i started doing sort of weight training and arms and shoulders and back and and legs and you know uh, pecs and all that so my assumption is, and it's now been two and a half weeks now that I've been doing proper workouts in the gym, and I definitely can see a plateau in the weight loss. In other words, it's just stop stopping. It stays between 100 and 105 kilos. And uh, in the last sort of week, it's actually gone up. It's gone up to 107 kilograms. But the funny thing is I haven't increased my food intake. So I was a bit concerned. I thought, oh, that's a bit weird. So I spoke to a couple of people online and uh, they said to me clearly, even even my cousin, who's a professional bodybuilder, mentioned to me that, no, you know, you, you, you're building up muscle. Uh, muscle weighs more than fat. And I, obviously I wasn't aware of this. So that's pretty cool. So for those of you who are worried, don't be worried. Just measure yourself according to your clothes, like how your clothes are fitting. How do you look? How do you feel? Don't worry about the scale so much because the scale is not really that important. Okay, at the end of the day, you are doing well. And uh, the other things that I've discovered with regards to the lion diet, I have on occasion dropped to carnival, as in the sense that I've actually added uh, in my uh, food routine, I've added eggs. I haven't gone down to milk and cheese and all the other things. I've just gone down to eggs. So now I'm technically not necessarily lion diet, but I am what we call carnivore but essentially it's it's li literally the strict lion diet but with eggs so i've just added eggs into the mix i only have eggs once or twice a week now and uh yeah it feels fine i don't feel unusual i don't have any side effects or anything like it in fact i feel great so don't be afraid to do things in moderation don't be worried about adding things like you know eggs or milk or cheese or anything like that but do them one at a time so that 
when you add one thing, you can see how your body feels. And if you feel like there's need for another thing, then yes, if you feel like that one thing you've added doesn't work, then you can take it out. But if you add two things at a time, you don't know which one's working and which one isn't. So don't do that. Rather add one thing at a time. Now, one thing I'm clearly not going to add is milk. I don't, milk doesn't do anything for me anymore. It's not really ideal for me. However, I have added uh, in the past because I've had to travel, I've had cheese in the mix and uh, it's fine. Cheese doesn't make me feel bad. Milk on the other hand though, about two months ago did make me feel terrible and uh, I wasn't really up to it and I, I think I need to sort of abstain from milk. But in terms of you know cheese and in terms of eggs i don't seem to have a problem with those although i don't particularly push the cheese a lot up if i have cheese it'll be once a month now so i am still following the strict carnivore and more, most importantly the lion diet but i just added eggs once a week or maybe twice a week into my mix just because i want to be able to uh, get more benefits in terms of protein with regards to my workouts and my training of course i'm not training very heavily i haven't gone into very heavy weight training i've just gone into weight training for i think it's eight times now so monday wednesday fridays monday wednesday fridays and then monday yesterday so today is tuesday and i'm skipping the day because i want to have the body rest so at the end of the day I'm adding the, the eggs uh, once a week just to add that extra protein for muscle gain. So don't be worried. Don't be scared. If you're going through this process and you plateau, there's obviously something that has changed. One thing that has increased, though, is my water intake. I've definitely increased my water intake. I'm now at three and a half liters a day. So very close to four liters. And it's definitely working out better for me. The other thing that I've also noticed is my uh, ability to sleep has improved. And it's because of some recommendations from Kerry from Homestead and a couple of other people I've met online on YouTube. And that is I've increased my magnesium uh, in terms of my electrolytes. So I've added a bit more on my electrolytes when I'm taking electrolytes in uh, sort of once every two or three days when I do electrolytes in my water. And uh, it's made a difference. The magnesium is actually allowing me to sleep really well and I'm having my perfect amount of sleep every day and I'm very happy with it and I feel fantastic. So that's great. And um, <clears throat> the other thing that's also pretty well improved is my ability uh, to focus. Uh, as in like not to be clarity, not to just have clarity like I had before, but the ability to focus on something. I'm able to focus on things a lot longer. So I don't have this thing where I focus for 40 minutes and I got to take a break or I focus for half an hour, then I take a break or I focus for an hour and I take a break. I don't really need to do that anymore. I can focus for at least an hour or two and then take a break, which is quite unusual. I've never had that before and I don't get tired easily. So that's pretty cool. So those are the main benefits for everybody who's interested in uh, sort of the progress update of my lion diet and my journey into getting healthier. If you have any questions, if you want to tell me your stories, tell me how you're doing it, please tell me in your comments. I'm always open to people's comments and I'm always open to suggestions. If there's anything that you think uh, you're not understanding or you're not sure about, let me know. I can always help. If I've gone through it and experienced it, I will let you know. Otherwise, I'm ecstatic that I've taken this journey. I'm really happy with the process and I'm 170 days into the lion diet and i am over 100 pounds loss in terms of weight so that's just about 50 kilograms very happy with the results but more importantly i'm feeling better i feel happier so at the end of the day it doesn't really matter what kind of results you're going to get as long as you're improving right that's the main thing Otherwise, thank you for your time. It's Demetrius here. I appreciate all my subscribers. Thank you. It's been crazy to get that amount of subscribers so quickly. I appreciate you. Thank you. Anybody who's new, please go ahead and watch some of the other videos that I have. I don't just make videos on health. Um, I make videos on technology, media, and lifestyle because I, I love all three. And uh, that's what my channel is about. And my channel is really about simplifying things, simplifying everything, simplifying technology, simplifying media topics, simplifying anything to do with lifestyle and health. I like to simplify things. 
I believe in the KISS principle. You know, the whole keep it simple and straightforward. I really do. It's, it's, it's a mantra I've had all my life. And anybody who's uh, new to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe. It does help the video reach more people out there on YouTube. And at the same time, it'll tell you when I bring out a new video. Otherwise, it's Demetrius here again, and I'm signing out.